What is happening and welcome to another four wheel drive talk episode and friends, well, you probably figured out what we're going to be talking about from the title of this video. But yes, we're going to be talking about this. This is a 2000 watt portable power station from the folks with Sea Devil. Now, if any of you have ever gone camping with me, you know I am a creature of habit, uh, especially I how I take and set up my rig. And I think, yeah, I think that's probably the case for a lot of people. But anyways... When I get out to location, uh, the first thing that always comes out of my rig, tailgater tire table, that gets set up. And then because I test a lot of these power stations like this, and I always set up my power station. And then at least during the last six to eight months, the very next item that goes up is my SpaceX or the Starlink uh, internet setup. Because as you guys know, I run two online companies. So I have a short tether to being on online. I need. I always have something that I need to respond to. So yeah, I'm one of those people that, when we get out into the, the, the camping, um, I'm always plugged in. But that being the case, this thing I've been testing out for the last three months and friends, this has been, you know, again, going back to what I mentioned a moment ago, I've tested quite a handful of these uh, power stations out. This thing has been a powerhouse. This thing's been a treat to use. Um, I'm going to share with you literally in this video here, I'm going to share with you A to Z about this. I'm going to share with you what I like. I'm going to share with you what I don't like. And again, we put these videos together to help you Get out there. And I think having a re good, reliable uh, power station is absolutely important. And that's going, that's coming from somebody that in my Turtleback Expedition trailer, I have 200 amp hours of lithium batteries in this thing. So I'm already going out with a pretty healthy power supply. On top of that, a whole ton of uh, solar, as well as I always have my ALF 1000 watt uh, propane generator as well. So I'm always going out, and yet I was saying having something like this, even with what I had out already, is very important. And you'll find out how I utilize this here momentarily. Well, actually, I just kind of did, but I'll share with you the full scope of how I use this and how I beat the hell out of this thing over the last three months trying to find something that, let's see if I can get it to break, um, and trying to find those those boundaries of where it is very comfortable working in. Now, of course, going back to what I was saying a moment ago, putting these videos together like this, it's geared to help you get out there and whether you're shopping around for specifically for a power supply already, uh, or you just simply, well, actually you're shopping around for a power supply. So the, the nature of this, because this is a relatively new brand, or they've had this out since May of this year. So they're kind of newcomer to the space. Premise behind this is, hey, if you decide to go out there and spend your hard-earned money on something like this, you know exactly what it's going to give you. I'm going to share with you, as I mentioned, things I like, dislike. You may agree, you may not. But again, at the end of the day, hey, if you go out there and spend your money on this, you have a pretty good idea what your money, what your dollar is going to get you. That said, my friends, if you find some value with this video, do me a favor. Hit that like button down below. It sure does help with the whole YouTube algorithm, and we very much appreciate it. That said, pull up a seat, didn't? Let's go. All right, now, since this is a relatively new product, I'm going to assume that you aren't really familiar with it. And that being the case, let's review some of the basic specs and features before I dive into kind of my discussion of my real world experience utilizing this power station. Now, a moment ago, I mentioned this thing is 2000 watts of power with a 4000 watt of surge power, which comes from a 2131 watt hour, 22.2 volt lithium ion battery. Now this thing is good for 1500 battery cycles. That is a buttload of, of charges there. So this thing has a healthy lifespan that will give you years of service. Now there's 13 total ports, which I'm gonna get into here momentarily. Oops, that thing's off. Yes, I said 13 ports. This thing is a absolute beast. Now this includes a 12 volt 10 amp cigarette lighter plug over on the left hand side or that side over there. You have two 12 volt 3 amp DC outputs right down on this side here. You have four 120 volt AC plugs uh, right over on the right hand side. And then you also have four type A USB ports right in the center. And of course, two, I don't know why I said it, of course, but you also have two type C USB ports 
right in the right above the type A's there. Now there's also 12 to 56 uh, volt DC input, which is that little cap that you saw me plug in over on that side. So this thing, as you can see, is very well equipped for pretty much anything you can throw at it. Now, there are three different options for charging this unit. Now, what I do, again, it's funny, I, I spoke about in the beginning, I'm a creature of habit. Whenever I go heading off, I will usually, there's no usually, I will always have this thing charged up where I go heading out to uh, whatever camping trip that I'm doing. Once I get to location, depending upon timing what I'm doing, if I'm gonna be staying still, I will plug this into, there's uh, two 200 watt uh, solar panels. The cool part about this is these are 200 watt, each of these are 200 watt panels. Each of these, when they're folded up, is about 21 by 21 and about three and a half inches thick. But here's the cool part with this. If you played around with solar, you know if something says 100 watts or 200 watts, you never get that that full that full uh, uh, rating there. So. Like for example, these 200 watt panels here, each of these panels are actually pulling down 165-ish uh, watts, which is pretty stinking cool. So if I'm down to like 15 or 17% uh, juice on this thing and I go heading out into the woods or you know do some uh, you know getting away and so forth, roughly about five, five and a half hours, those two panels are gonna charge this thing up all the way, which is pretty stinking fast. Now, if you only have one of the 200 uh, watt uh, units there, this could take a little bit longer, of course, but so you have that. You have the ability to charge it, as I mentioned a moment ago, via through AC, and you also have the ability of putting it or plugging it into your car. Now, that's actually what I will do as well. If I'm not at base camp and I don't need anything being powered while I'm out reconning or tooling around, um, I will put this back in my truck because my truck has a 400 watt uh, inverter that's built into it. And I'll just plug this into the AC as I'm driving around. And usually by the time I get back, uh, to camp, uh, I will have this thing fully charged, but you also have a cigarette lighter as well. Uh, but going back to talking about the solar, uh, these guys make three different solar panels. You have an 80 watt, 100 watt, and a 200 watt. Obviously with the larger units like this, you want the bigger 200 watt option because it's just gonna charge it a heck of a lot quicker. Now on the front of this thing here, you have yeah, make sure that's in frame. You have a real-time LCD display, which is gonna show you a lot of very important information from battery capability, or capacity rather, remaining time and remaining percentage. Now, it also shows uh, power output over temperature and other output uh, functions as well. So it keeps you, it basically gives you what you need to know when you need it. And one of the things I really admire about this display here, compared to some of the other units that I've tested in the past, it is quite vibrant and it's actually a very, very clear, very easy to read uh, display, which is really nice. Now also, which is pretty cool on here is on the right hand side here, you have an integrated three step dimmable light, which is very handy for having around the camp at night. Simply click once, there's one, two, Three. Hopefully that's not blinding the camera. Um, and there's actually also a uh, SOS function that's built into this as well if you find yourself in the jam. Now this thing is ultra quiet. There's a built-in cooling fan, so the unit isn't silent, but it's pretty close to that. And this thing only weighs 37 pounds. Now the dimensions of this thing here are nine inches by 15 inches by 10 and a half. So for the size of this thing here, it has a small footprint. Uh, as I understand, these guys have a two-year warranty. That's a US-based customer service, and they sell this for $1,799. Now, before we get into the pros and cons, I'm gonna share with you just a little bit of a continuation of how I use this. Um, I mentioned when I get a location, I take out my uh, tire table or my tailgater tire table, set that up, get this set up, and then run my uh, Starlink off of there. So that's powering that usually an entire weekend or however long I'm, I'm gone for. Um, but what I will also do, as many of you know, I do a lot of photography. I do uh, a lot of videography. So I'm constantly charging, whether my cameras, my laptops, my drones, uh, all through this. So this thing has, I've thrown quite a bit at it. Uh, and it really does a great job. And that's when you have a lot of sensitive electronics, that's where, 
you know, you can jump on Amazon and you'll find there's all sorts of portable power stations. The, the challenge is when you get into some of these, these cheaper, inexpensive ones, not only do they not hold charge long, the power is, you, know, you don't get a good, steady uh, power out of these things. You get that, cla that classic cliche remark, you get what you pay for. That being said, now usually what I'll do if there, we're in an area where there's gonna be weather or in colder weather and so forth. Now granted, I've not had this in colder weather yet, not at least colder by definition of like minus degree, you know, under 32 degrees and so forth. But in cooler weather, like with the upcoming winter season, I'll take this actually inside the tent at night. Because as you guys know, I have a planter diesel heater in there that keeps the inside nice and toasty. And so, and I'll bring this upstairs uh, into the, the top of the tent and that will remain warm, which makes this happy. And uh, then I get to plug in all my devices actually inside the tent as well. But that said, let's shift gears and talk about some of the pros with this thing here. Now, one of the things I closed off with a moment ago, we're talking about the size and the weight. So you can easily lift and carry this thing from bed of your truck to wherever you need it in your camp. So it doesn't take up that much space, which is really, really a good thing. And it's a really great feature for overlanding gear. Now the power is awesome. That's actually one of the big selling points that I think with this thing, 2000 watts, definitely gets the job done. And as I mentioned a moment ago, there are a ton of ports on this thing. Those 13 ports really go a long way. And then of course, as I mentioned, you have this integrated light, a big old light on the side, which again is a, is a great feature. Again, with my son running around at night, wires from the Starlink uh, laying on the ground, this keeps him from tripping over that. And also from a peace of mind and a safety standpoint, it's nice to have that light there as well. And last but not least, this thing is environmentally friendly. It's virtually silent, which is great for when you're in established campgrounds where you don't want to disturb your neighbors with all sorts of noise. So again, these guys did a great job. Now let's talk about cons with this. So full disclosure, you know, three months ago when this thing came in, um, I would, I was planning to release a video on this, um, but the first time I plugged this thing in with the first charge, I had a minor hiccup. After about five hours running, it shut down on me. Now, the only thing I had plugged in there was the Starlink. And I tried to, this is basically what happens. Before I go, get in front of a camera with you guys, I want to, I want to make sure I test the hell out of something before I go getting in front of you and saying that, hey, it's it's awesome or it's not, or there's problems or they're not. In this particular case, it shut down uh, on me, but then it, you know, it fired back up. So I gave this thing three months, guys, and I used the hell out of this thing because I was trying to recreate what took place there. Um, I have probably cycled through this thing a good 15, 20 times. I have put things of high load, low load, uh, Starlink back into it, um, and I cannot get this thing to shut down like what it did. So I think this was a kind of an oddball anomaly. I can't help to point the finger at my Starlink because uh, sometimes that thing can be, well, actually I have a few occasions where that has been a little bit uh, wonky, but uh, I have, I waited three months specifically to see if I could recreate before I got in front of camera with you guys and, and said that, hey, I had no problems with it. And I'm being upfront with you, I had a minor anomaly in the very first time that I used it, the very first charge that I used it, but I've not been able to recreate that. And again, I've spent the last three months utilizing, charging, bringing it down to 15, 17%. This thing is an absolute champ. I have plugged, uh, again, a lot of things into this thing here, trying to get it to, to, to shut down or show me anything that I didn't like. But these guys did a very good job. Hands down, this is one of the best portable power stations uh, that I have tested. And so I do recommend if you do get the, the 200 though, or I'm sorry, the 2000, you do want to get a couple 200 watt uh, solar panels because that's going to make a night and day difference in the speed that it takes to charge this thing up. So anyways, cons, um, three months ago, I would have had one if it had done it again, but I've given it three months. I've beaten the hell out of this thing and I can't get it to do it again. So I'm writing that as a pure anomaly. These guys did a great job on this thing. So at the end of the day, the Sea Devil 2000 watt portable power station has proved to be a extremely valuable addition to my kit. It's offered reliable, quiet power and stood the use and the abuse of all sorts of environments over the last three months. So 
so far, very good. But guys, before I go signing off, I wanna quickly review our current giveaway. So we have three excellent prizes up for the grab this month. We have the Forest Tool Company Max Toolkit, we have a Stanley Adventure Camp Cook Set, and of course, the $100 Amazon gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch, you leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So. I'll get watching some other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on four-wheel drive talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, friend, if you introduce yourself during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swing and by, say hello. We would love to see you in friends. That is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on four-wheel drive talk or how to say hello in the forum, check out the description below. Good luck. All right, friends, and that is it for this review of the Sea Devil 2000 watt uh, power station here. This thing is an absolute champ. Now, of course, it's that time of the video where, friends, look, first off, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate you guys watching this video here. These sort of things, as I shared with you a moment ago in the beginning of this video here, these are super important. And I think it's also great to have it as redundancy. You know, you look at what just took place in her, you know, in Florida right now. A lot of people are out of power. Having these sort of, I and mean, that can happen anywhere. Um, having backup power, backup, backup. So the when I go heading out, I have my 1,000 watt, Help generator. I have the 200 amp hour batteries that are in the turtle back to begin with. And then of course I head out with something like this here. And so this is an absolutely amazing set of power to have. Now, of course, it's that time of the video where friends, I'm gonna ask you to do all that YouTube stuff because well, we appreciate it. And so please, you found some value with this video, consider hitting that like button, that subscribe button, and so therefore you don't miss a single video like the one that you just watched here. Hit that bell so YouTube does its whole uh, notification thing every time that we come out with a new video. But friends, I can't recommend this thing enough. This thing has really uh, exceeded expectations. And the plus, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, having something like this, even if you have a generator that you're using right now, or even if you have a trailer that has a, for example, my Turtleback has the 200 amp hour uh, lithium battery set up there. Having something like this is a great plan B. Something like this, you can have other oddball things so you're you know, plugged into it like the Starlink, so you're not draining the house batteries. Something like this is going to give you quiet power in areas where you can't be running a generator. So again, this is a, this is a must have in my opinion. But I'm gonna be turning off my cameras now, guys. I'm gonna put a link down below if you want to pick up or get more information on this bugger. So, that said, hey, friends, thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys next time, so you get out there, stay healthy, and find your adventure.